All right, everybody. So it's a few minutes after eight at night, and uh, I'm out here just watering uh, the second bed, along with uh, well, everything. You can tell from uh, the last video that I pulled the bush beans up. They weren't looking too good, and uh, I had some bean seeds left. So I just decided to pull the beans up and uh, put down some more seeds. So where I've got the perlite is where I did um, two rows. So hopefully I'll get some beans uh, popping up soon. Yeah, and I just pulled the plants up, laid them right there in the bed. Um, it'll help to keep uh, the moisture in the bed so I'm not gonna worry about it in the middle I've got tomato plant this is a bush tomato I got some uh, straight neck with some type of summer squash in the middle uh, so I got two vining on the outside and then um, one big one on the inside Blackberry bush trying to do good. Uh, the deer pruned it a bit, so looks like it's putting out buds in the middle. I don't know. First time growing them, so got them from uh, one of the managers at work. So don't know. Uh, here we have sunflowers on the outside. In the middle, we're well, on this side right here, are uh, uh, butternut, I believe, and then two zucchini plants. Then my blackberry, the top hat. Back here, uh, I had a couple of suckers that I cut off of the tomatoes because I, I pruned them, as you can see, no bottom leaves. And uh, so a couple of them were so big that I decided to stick them in the ground just to see what would happen. Uh, so one looks like it's dying. The other one looks like it may be okay. I don't quite know. Two squash plants back here. I did plant one right here. Um, well, it might have been a watermelon or cantaloupe, something. Uh, they're all in the same family, whatever it is. Uh, strawberry plants, these are the ones that I got this year. They are already uh, putting out runners and little babies. So, I'll have a... Uh, whole lot of plants strawberry plants that one there actually has like three runners on it so they're doing pretty good haven't really produced any berries but they're putting out runners so here we have a uh, sugar baby watermelon I did plant a cucumber in that spot right along that trellis so that it'll run up with the others. I was able to um, get one Boston pickling off of that big plant. So, uh, cut the peas back because it was getting too hot. They were dying off. Uh, ended up getting a uh, squash vine borer in the um, squash that was here that was the one that was producing of course so pulled that one up um, decided not to put anything down there I'm just gonna uh, I put the beans bean plants and stuff down there let that decompose and uh, try to keep the soil somewhat moist don't know if it's gonna really work but 
I'm trying so that I don't have to water um, every day. But the beets are looking good. Beet leaves are looking pretty good. Uh, that's that, I believe it's the Cocozale squash. And I've actually pulled a couple off of that. Um, but that one, along with this one here, that just, this baby just does not want to grow. So those are the only two that I have producing right now. Uh, let's go back this way. As you can see, my tomatoes are flowering and some of them actually have, uh, sorry, tomatoes right there. Got a few flowers. Pepper plant is trying to do some things. Squash plant is struggling over there. But um, they're still living, so they're trying. For some reason, all the squash I put over there on that side, they just died off, except for that one. So we'll see. This plant here is full. There's two plants. Uh, both of them are the sweet million. Yeah. Uh, pepper plant finally got flowers. <coughs> Another pepper plant. I finally got all of the um, summer things out of the indoor greenhouse. So I just put the rest of the stuff and pots, and that's what those two pots are over there. Uh, mostly tomatoes. Uh, I got some basil in there, and I think I got a couple of flowers. So, Swiss char still making it. It does all right in the hot weather, so it's doing pretty good. Uh, there's another tomato in a pot, and I just sit it in the raised bed. Uh, I take the bottoms off the pots just set them on the ground and just try to keep it watered with uh, got those bottles with the spikes on them keep them watered uh, last but not least my uh, artichoke plant so I do have one asparagus plant still living so doing pretty good so yeah that's what's going on past my bedtime gotta get up uh 5 30 tomorrow go to work so thanks for watching